What's up? Make a quick video here. Well, sadly, the loud ass Goodman's running, so we'll have to deal with that. So, this morning I added a second bank of batteries. Now, I was running 25, and then I built another bank of 25, but I kind of realized something here. I think I, I kind of uh, put 25 in series because I was designing it for the worst case scenario that the batteries are going to charge up to the unloaded higher voltage rating of the panels. The panels are rated 30 volts nominal and like 35-ish or something like that unloaded maybe even closer to 37 i forget what it says but uh that's unloaded open circuit if you take a voltmeter to it so 11 in series my nominal voltage is 330 which is i built it for this voltage range well the thing is i was worried i was going to get up to like 360 volts or whatever and i would be charging each battery too high so i put 25 so that would equal 14.4 volts well that's an open circuit voltage you would get with your hook and meter up and nothing sucked up to the panel. I don't think it's ever going to hit that high when there's something in the circuit, which the something is at least going to be the batteries, if not the unit running. So, so far, the unit runs so much that I've never actually gotten the batteries to chop off to the nominal voltage of 330. Like right now, you know, 4 o'clock. It's doing pretty good. It's actually, the batteries are at 307, 308 volts. That's pretty good. This is running on just first stage, 40 hertz. It presses slow down a little bit. Or this would be sagging, you know, down under 300, easy, with the sun this far down. But the thing is, until summer starts dying out, it's never going to really get the batteries that charged. So per battery, it was staying in between 11 and like 12 point something volts. And the float voltage is, you know, like thir up to 13.8 or so. So I took one battery out of each one, and that's going to make each cell have a higher voltage it'll be charging more capacity into each battery so adding the extra battery in each one is actually not helping anything so and i don't think it's ever going to overcharge them but we'll find out once once we get to where this ac doesn't run as much and it's actually got more off cycle to be putting more time into charging the batteries we'll see what it does so anyway let's go take some readings i know i need another 90 degree seal tight here. I thought I had another one. I'll have to go get one and come back later. Um, this meter I have actually does DC clamp voltage. I didn't even know that. So anyway, so utility power is zero. 308 volts. It doesn't really start pulling this till the DC voltage gets down to like in the 280s. So even if my DC voltage is like 290 or so, I've noticed that, you know, it will not pull anything. Oh, let me just show you the battery. So, so put the utility power on, pull the solar power off. About six amps. And see, it's still not pulling anything here. It only went up a tenth when I unplugged the uh, utility power. So that's all battery power. So we'll put the, uh, solar power back on I think it might actually be able to uh, run the unit yeah it does and now you see pretty much a couple tenths it's probably just some interference in there so that's that was the disconnect for the batteries let me see if uh, this would be given no it's still zero on there so the unit can run on solar or batteries Put the batteries back on. Well, I want to see what the solar is producing. So solar is actually only producing 300 volts um, at this point with the sundown. So it's definitely drawn some off the batteries that it had charged. So it's pulling a couple amps, 1.6. Again, if I pull the solar, then it's uh, all off batteries at six amps. 6.1, it looks like right there. 6.2. I'll put this. So utility's ready. See, it's still, the voltage is still high enough at 291, 292 that it's above the forward bias of the diodes because I stepped down my AC voltage a little bit before it goes into the rectifier and it's below that voltage. If this goes down a little bit more, then utility power will pick up, which is all automatic. So if I unplug the batteries and the battery amps go down, then here, the AC power, nine amps. So everything's working 
very seamlessly now. That's gonna drop down to zero. And sucking battery voltage or amps and the voltage is sagging. It's about 292, so solar can't can totally run it, but I did notice that the voltage is sags below what the current state of the batteries is, so it's the kind of just equalizing. I can see that battery voltage going back up a little bit there to about what my solar voltage is. So at this point, it's not really putting much into the batteries, but for a couple hours it was. So with the amount of solar panels I have right now and that how this runs like constant, I mean, it, it just goes down the first stage until it gets into the night. So during the day when the sun's up, this thing's running at least first stage, which is just like about two tons from upstairs. And then it's three tons when it goes to 60 Hertz. That's what this unit is, a three ton unit. So the amount of solar panels I have, when the sun's way high and it can drop the first stage, it starts charging the batteries. And even on second stage earlier, it was, it was putting a little bit in. Like when the sun's up like a high noon, it, those panels are putting out quite a bit of power that it's always banking a little bit. But once it starts getting a little bit of angle, then it only banks some power into the batteries when it's on first stage. And then when the sun starts getting to be at an angle like it is now, it's right over there at four o'clock then, the volts are sagging. It's actually, I don't know, it kind of goes up and down a little bit. It's like you can see the batteries are packed back about 204, 205. But what I've been just noticing though is just that I never get that much surplus power out of the solar yet because it's run so much to ever charge the batteries completely. And the bad thing, if you don't charge the batteries a lot, you're not going to have a lot of runtime if the power goes totally lay out. I do not yet have the air handler set up to run, you know, off grid. It's close. But uh, when it does, I'm basically not going to be set up to run the unit very long because I'm, when, because this unit's running. In the amount of capacity I have, it's just not really topping the batteries off. But now that I've got it to this point, um, I had another bank of another 11 solar panels, 50% more um, output. It will be banking power to the battery packs. Even if this thing just stays on high speed, it'll be awesome. So that's probably uh, kind of what we're looking at on this thing. Oh yeah, one more thing for uh, guys that. Uh, haven't watched my older videos. This is my solar array that's off grid. So, yeah. 50 bucks per panel. I got 22 of them. So, what was that, 1100 bucks or something? Not bad. To get about 5kW for 1100 bucks. Yeah. So, this thing's kind of tricky. I never really use it for DC. A friend was telling me there was an error on the side, and lo and behold, there is. So if it's actually got current going the other way, then I'm probably not getting an accurate reading in it, but I would have to switch it around. And who knows, maybe it's putting in a couple tenths into the batteries. But then when it's drawing off the batteries, I need to put the arrow this way for sure. Let's see. Yeah, that's actually the negative wire, so it's... Nope, that was backwards. This would be right. right. Yeah. So, anyway. So it's drawing like seven, eight tenths. Pretty cool though. So this is coming along finally. For a long time I didn't make a whole lot of progress and I was experimenting with all those voltage regulator ideas. And when I put that on there, that was such a big help. <laughs> Automatic transfer and everything just by the nature of the way rectifiers work. And then now that I added the batteries, that's like a next big hurdle. So I gotta take one of those newer ECM motors I have for blower motor and the X13 style, I think I have one of those that might work. I got experiment putting DC power to it. You know, it's probably going to work as long as it doesn't wig out too much. Like this one wigs just the DC. I'm a wigs a little bit sometimes the DC voltage at a certain rating and it does something weird, but it still works. So I need to get the blower up in the attic uh, redone so I, it runs off DC power. Probably put the to just tie it into this system here, maybe the same DC bus. The blower doesn't pull that much, and then uh, I have to run some conduit over there and then steal the circuit to run DC up there. I just got to get a, I got to build something that's going to supply a 
control voltage to the thermostats. Anyway, I better end this before the sun overheats this Samsung, because you know how those go. But uh, more is coming. I'm still doing tests. So be sure to like and subscribe. And definitely share. Do all that stuff for me. Catch you guys later.